Todd Damon from the Axiom Tool Group, and today we're in a very special place. This is the Otterbein University Steam Technology Center that they refer to as the Point. This is likely one of the most advanced technology centers in the nation, and it's a very unique model in that it incorporates local technology firms, businesses, with uh, a, a very active maker space within the community, um, which gives the local students engineering, mechanic, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, biochem, pre-med and nursing students, the opportunity to work together with the uh, community members and the local technology firms to really implement real change. This is cutting edge stuff, it's an amazing facility and I feel very, very passionately about it. So much so that we donated one of our AR-16 Elite servo-driven machines to the program. Otterbein's actually asked me to play a role in a project that I think you'll find is really pretty interesting. So I want to show you what they're doing. Uh, it will encompass both the AR-16 Elite and our new fourth axis rotary kit option to create some really amazing three-dimensional objects. So let's run inside and I'll show you the project. So again, we're back at the point at Otterbein University, standing in front of our AR-16 servo-driven elite machine. To commemorate the launch of this facility, Otterbein enlisted their engineering students to uh, undertake a really unique project. Nothing goes together better than a college education and a foosball table. So they've actually selected 22 individuals that have played a role in the birth of this facility. I'm honored to have been selected as one of the foosball players to be immortalized in a piece of wood on a foosball table that they are building. The process of creating these characters is really pretty straightforward. We take a 3D camera, scan each, person, each person's head from kind of the neck up, import this 3D image, this file, weld it to a body, and then toolpath this and turn it on our uh, fourth axis rotary kit on our CNC router. Pretty straightforward process. Let's go back to the Axiom facility and we're actually going to show you start to finish how this happens. My family often encourages me to have my head scanned. So today we're going to do exactly that. Um, we have a, a unique scanner. It's a 3D camera made by a company called Occipital. Um, it mounts directly to an iPad, which then, through the use of an app that they've built, does a wonderful job of capturing really high-resolution data. Now, this technology is relatively new. Years ago, they used a touch probe, which wasn't terribly accurate, it was very slow, and only worked for flat images. In this case, uh, this is a high-resolution camera. It's relatively inexpensive, and it does a wonderful job of capturing a 3D model of nearly any object. As woodworkers, whether it's a Windsor chair seat or a, a, a roped piece of molding, you can scan those objects very easily, or in our case, you can scan a person and then reproduce them in hardwood. We're using our 3D scanner that we talked about earlier. This is using a infrared camera, a high resolution camera and the iPads camera all in conjunction together and then it's controlled by the iPads gyroscope so as we walk around the model it's keeping it within this window so as you can see here we've got this small window mm -hmm. we'll just adjust it to the 3D model and then we'll we're just going to do Todd's head and shoulders so we can okay. get that positioned and then we can click scan mm -hmm. and begin walking around the model and as you see here we'll lower this and work it all the way around above capturing all the sides of that model and the more images we take the better the resolution of the model becomes. Looks just like them. Exactly. And then this one we're complete just gets taken right to our software and we can import that and create our model with it.
This is the Axiom Rotary Kit. This is a really unique accessory that unlocks the potential of any four-axis machining center. Uh, it gives the operator the ability to wrap a profile around a cylinder and create 3D objects like the foosball player that we've been working on. Sure. So I had my head scanned, <laughs> yeah. and we took that file, imported it into a spire, and attached it to a foosball player body. We toolpathed it, put it on a USB drive, and brought it to the machine. Mm -hmm. At this point, all we need to do is, as we do with any other program, we'll select our origin point, install the appropriate router bit, and we're ready to run. This is about a one hour runtime, very detailed 3D drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start with a half inch core box bit in a roughing operation. So that'll take about half of the machining time. Then we will change bits to a tapered ball end bit to get that super fine finish and level of detail that we're looking for. Awesome. Let me show you how easy it is to make a foosball player on an Axiom CNC router. Let's do it. Great. That's an awesome use of router technology. 